My name is Miss Emily, and I'm going to lead story time for you this week. For story time, we sit quietly on the rug with our hands in our laps until it's time to move and sing together. Are you ready for story time? I see Iris is ready for story time. Fiona is ready for story time. Thomas is ready for story time. Faye and Colin are ready for story time. Selena's ready for story time. Anya's ready for story time. Siobhan is ready for story time. Ian, Marcus, and Linnell are ready for story time. Richie, TJ, and Nathan are ready for story time. Lily and Lillian are ready for story time. Hunter is ready for story time. Joseph is ready for story time. James is ready for story time. And everybody else is all ready for story time. Good. Are you ready to sing the hello song? We clap and say hello. We clap and say hello. With our friends at story time, we clap and say hello. We wave and say hello. We wave and say hello. With our friends at story time, we wave and say hello. We stomp and say hello. We stomp and say hello. With our friends at story time, we stomp and say hello. Great job, everybody. This week, we are learning about turtles. Can you say turtle? Can you say turtle? Turtle. Good job, turtle. Can you say turtle? Can you say turtle very, very slowly? Because turtles can walk pretty slow. Turtle. Turtle. Good job. If you say turtle really, really loudly, I think that a turtle might come out. Do you want to try? Ready? Turtle! Good job! I think I hear the turtle. It's coming. Here she is. Hello. This is Tina the turtle. Tina the turtle is going to be the star of a puppet show that we're going to be posting next week, this week. So. Stay tuned for that video. Tina is a turtle. How many legs does a turtle have? One, two, three, four. Four legs. Turtles use their legs to crawl on the ground or to swim through the water. Turtles a big shell on their back that they use to hide in to protect themselves. They can suck in their head and their legs into their shell to hide when they get scared. Turtles love to lay on a log in the sun on a really sunny warm day and soak up all that sun. It's called basking in the sun. Turtles like to eat a lot of different things, depending on which type of turtle it is, but the type of turtle that we're mostly going to be talking about today is the eastern box turtle, because this is a very special turtle that is found in clay pit. It's also a vulnerable species, which means there's not so many of them left. Box turtles love to eat things like strawberries that grow in the grass. <laughs> They also love to eat insects and worms. Yum. Would you like to pretend to be turtles together? Everybody stand up and let's pretend to be turtles. How many legs do turtles have again? Four. They have four legs. Can you pretend to walk on four legs like a turtle? Good job! Turtles love to eat strawberries that grow in the grass. Can you pretend to eat strawberries? 
Turtles also love eating worms. Can you pretend to eat a worm? Good job. Turtles love to bask in the sun. Can you raise your arms, stretch over your head, and make the sun with your arms and pretend like you're a turtle laying in the sun? So nice and warm. Good job. And finally, turtles have big shells on their back. If you would like to pause the video right now, you can make a turtle shell with your grown-up. If you happen to have one of these um, aluminum baking pans handy, you could paint it whatever color you want because turtle shells aren't normally green. Um, and you can tie some string, poke holes and tie string, and wear it on your back like a backpack. If you have the materials for this, you could go make it now and pause the video and then use this shell for the next pretending activity. If you don't have one of these things at home, that's okay. You can just pretend with your hands. So, we're going to pretend like we're turtles hiding in our shell. If you put your hands above your head like this, pretend like you're the turtle inside your shell. Then, we're going to lower our arms and poke our head out of the shell and look around to see if we see any danger. Hmm, I don't see any danger right now. I think I'm going to go eat a strawberry. Oh no, what's that sound? It's a raccoon. Quick, hide in your shell. Hide in your shell. Be very still and be very quiet. Okay, I think the raccoon went away. Let's poke our head out slowly and see if it's safe. Okay, I don't see any raccoon. Let's come over here and eat a worm. Oh no, what's that sound? I think it's a dog. Quick, hide! Hide in your shell. Be very still and be very quiet. Good job staying safe, turtles. Great job. Now, we're going to say a little turtle rhyme all together. So everybody stay standing and do what I do. And this rhyme, we're going to pretend like uh, we're a little turtle. There was a little turtle. He lived in a shell. He swam in the water. He smelled the bluebells. He snapped at a mosquito. He snapped at a flea. He snapped at a minnow. And he snapped at me. He caught the mosquito. He caught the flea. He caught the minnow. But he didn't catch me. Good job, everybody. You want to try it again? There was a little turtle who lived in a shell. He swam in the water. He smelled the bluebells. He snapped at the mosquito, he snapped at the flea, he snapped at the minnow, and he snapped at me. He caught the mosquito, he caught the flea, he caught the minnow, but he didn't catch me. Great job! Now we're going to count some turtles on the billboard. I need everybody to sit down on the rug when I Use the felt board. How many turtles do we have on the felt board? One. Very good. One turtle went out to play in the pond one sunny day. He had such enormous fun, he called another turtle to come. Now how many turtles are on the board? One, two, Two turtles went out to play in the pond one sunny day. They had such enormous fun, they called another turtle to come. Now how many turtles are on the felt board? One, two, three. Three turtles went out 
to play in the pond one sunny day. They had such enormous fun, they called another turtle to come. Now how many turtles are playing in the pond? One, two, three, four. Four turtles went out to play in the pond one sunny day. They had such enormous fun, they called another turtle to come. Now how many turtles are on the board? One, two, three, four, five. Five turtles. Great counting, everybody. Great job. Now we're going to sing one last song. And this song is a little bit silly. It's not exactly what a turtle would do, but it is a really fun song and it has a turtle in it. So I'm going to do it once slow and then we'll do it again a little bit faster, okay? So we're all going to stand up together and we're going to hold out our hands like we're holding a tiny little baby turtle. Ready? I had a little turtle, his name was Tiny Tim. I put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He drank up all the water. He ate up all the soap. Now he's home sick in bed with bubbles in his throat. Now we're gonna do this motion with our arms. Bubble, 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 pop. Bubble, 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 pop. Good job! Okay, we're gonna try it again a little bit faster this time. I had a little turtle, his name was Tiny Tim. I put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He drank up all the water, he ate up all the soap. Now he's home sick in bed with bubbles in his throat. Bubble, 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 pop. Bubble, 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 pop. Great job, everybody. Now, normally during story time, I would read a story to you, but since this story time is on video, I can't read the story on the video. But the story that I would be reading if we were all here together at the Nature Center would be this one. It's called Turtle Splash by Katherine Falwell. I love this book because it has great pictures, which is what I love about a lot of books. And the pictures show an actual turtle that lives in clay pit. It's called a painted turtle. This is a pretty common turtle around here, and it's a native turtle too. I also love this book because it has counting in it. It also shows a lot of other animals that live in the pond with turtles. So it shows the turtle's neighbors. So this is an excellent book. If you don't have this one at home, maybe you have this one. This is a classic book. It's called Mossy by Jan Brett. Jan Brett writes a lot of children's books and they all have really gorgeous pictures. This is one that features a turtle named Mossy and it's a great story. If you don't have those books at home, you could read any book that has a turtle in it, especially books from the Franklin series. But if you're gonna read a book like that, make sure that you ask, what are the turtles doing in this book that real turtles do? What are the turtles doing in this book that real turtles do not do? What is real and what is make-believe? So, normally after we read the story, we would take a hike together. Today, we would be hiking to Sherrod's Pond, we would be standing on the pond deck, and we would look in the water to see if we see any turtles swimming, or we would look at logs laying at the edge of the water to see if we see any turtles basking in the sun, soaking up those rays. But since we can't do that together, I have a few real turtle shells that I would like to show you. So here, I have a real turtle shell. There's no turtle in it anymore, but this is a really old turtle shell. 
The turtle did not crawl out of its shell and leave it behind. Turtles always live in their shell. They can't leave their shell. If you look at this turtle shell, which came from a box turtle, you'll notice that it has its backbone connected to the shell. Do you remember where our backbone is? If you bend over, you might be able to feel it popping out of your back. The turtle's backbone grows with its shell, so it can't take its shell off, it can't go into a new shell, it needs to live inside of its shell its whole life, and its shell will grow with it. You can find turtles at any pond or lake or wetland. You can usually see them the easiest by walking up to the pond very, very quietly and then standing still and seeing if you can see any basking on logs in the pond on a sunny day. Soon, it's gonna be turtle nesting season and some turtles have actually already started trying to dig nests in the park to sample what would be a good spot to dig their nest. So, a turtle will come out of the pond, it'll walk uphill to probably a sandy area and it will dig a hole and then lay its eggs. Then it will cover the eggs up and go back to the pond. Sometimes, on their way to find a good spot for a nest, Turtles will have to cross a street, and this is very dangerous for turtles because they can get hit by a car. So if you see a turtle crossing the street, what you can do is you can grab it by the shell just like this. When you put your hands on the sides here, you're protecting yourself from getting bitten by the turtle. So have a grown-up grab the turtle by its shell and help it across the road. If you have a snapping turtle, you don't want to grab it by the side of its shell because snapping turtles have really long necks and they could probably still bite you. For all turtles, you can grab them by the back. And what you can do is you can make sure that you remember which way were they walking. If they were walking this way, you want to help them move that way because if you move them over here, they're just going to try to cross the street again. So what you can do is flip it around, and then drag it by the back of its shell in the direction it was walking. And then we'll leave it by the side of the road to go on its own to lay its eggs. You don't need to take a wild turtle to a pet shelter if you find it crossing the street. That's just where it lives and, and it's doing what turtles normally do. Totally normal behavior. So if you're unsure if you should touch the turtle because you're afraid it might be a snapping turtle, which can bite very hard, you could call the DEC, the Department of De Environmental Conservation, and they can give you advice or they can send a forest ranger to come and help out. So that's how you can help turtles. I hope you learned a lot about turtles today. Are you ready to sing the goodbye song? We clap and say goodbye, we clap and say goodbye to our friends at story time. We clap and say goodbye, we wave and say goodbye, we wave and say goodbye to our friends at story time. We wave and say goodbye, we stomp and say goodbye, we stomp and say goodbye. To our friends at story time, we stomp and say goodbye. Great job, everybody. I hope that you enjoyed Turtle Story Time. You can check our Facebook page if you would like to see more resources about crafts and activities that you can do about turtles. And we hope that you join us next week. Thanks. <laughs>